Behind the Mask was, I think, the first track we all said, yes, let's work on that one. Just purely because it's one we've never played live before. It's one we all really like. It's the album closest to Darkness Will Rise. And it just has that kind of epic feel to it. And we knew that stripping everything back, all the kind of heavy drums, guitars and bass, would leave plenty of room for all the melody. Um, so we kind of really went for it with orchestral and piano. It did take some work, to be fair. Like the, the intro guitar riff was the main problem for me. I was like, this doesn't really work just playing it as it is on the acoustic guitar. So it still feels like you're trying to play a metal song on the acoustic. I struggled with it for a little while, actually. And just so happened at the same kind of time, I'd come up with this piece completely separate to Behind the Mask. I wasn't thinking of it at all. And I kind of had it in the bank just as an idea. I thought, oh, this is cool. And it's just like a kind of dreamy, repetitive thing. I kept just noodling around with on the acoustic at home and just had a bit of a light bulb moment and was like oh actually let's try the melody over this it's in the same key kind of the same chords and it just so happened to work so we're like brilliant we've, we've gotten in now we can let's, let's carry on working on the song i arranged the additional percussion in verse two while we were in the studio doing the demo for this track and it came together really quickly i put in a wood block electronic hi-hats uh, Wiro, congas and most importantly Bassa, which MJ did thoroughly enjoy playing. There was a lot of backing vocals that I did on the day. There was a lot of different like twin parts that I did on the guitar that were never in the original recording. The funniest thing though was when I was doing the, there's a high harmony and it's so high. It was like someone had to kick me in the balls to be able to hit that note. Otherwise, it won't happen. I think the addition of the piano for this one really brings out the best in it. Um, Matt, is, Matt is the wizard on the piano. He knows all the all the nice crushed chords and stuff like that. And uh, we really went to town on it. So much so, we actually changed the guitar solo into a piano solo, which is a first for us. So that was really cool. And I think it's just nice to hear MJ and Tony both singing on a Darkness of Rise track as well, they've not done before. This is 